S5090 is gonna be insanely powerful and Intel is gonna make their CPUs on glass. Hey, this is Akash from TechnoDefine and you're watching TD News Show. And let's talk about it. According to this guy, because I'm very bad with name, the 5090 is gonna have 50% more cores, 52% more memory bandwidth, a 78% improvement on L2 cache, 15% on core boost clock, and 70% improvement in overall performance. Take this thing with a huge grain of salt because this is very, very, very early. Because these GPUs are essentially under development. Nvidia hasn't said anything. Neither these GPUs have gone for some ECC filing. Because these GPUs are not coming this year or next year. Most probably they will be coming at 2025. And the most interesting part of these new GPU is their MMC packing technology or multi-chip module packing. That means from now on, Nvidia is gonna make their GPU in small little die or it's gonna use the chiplet architecture. That means it doesn't have to fit every single component in a bigger die rather than it can make smaller component and fit them very closely to each other and that will give nvidia much more power when it comes to customizing their gpu and is gonna come out to have better yields previously if something goes wrong on a bigger chip then that chip has to go away they cannot use that chip and using mcm technology or chiplet packing technology this problem totally goes away. And talking about manufacturing technology, Intel is planned to make their GPUs on glass. According to Intel, the glass substrate can tolerate higher temperature, offer 50% less pattern distortion, and have ultra low flatness for improved depth of focus for lithography, and have dimensional stability needed for extremely tight layer to layer interconnect overlay. And this could really be a big change because th this can make chip making process much more cost effective and can have better yields. And at the same time, Intel also announced they would be making chips for Qualcomm and Amazon's AWS service. And I have linked down the article if you want to know more alongside with all the sources for this video. Now, Intel is also working on their Battlemage GPU according to a Linux driver update. I don't know too much about these Battlemage GPUs. It was previously rumored that these GPUs are coming and now this driver update kind of confirms it. Intel is also working on their next Lunar Lake CPUs, which is supposed supposed to have their ARC architecture or ARC GPUs inside them. Now this XELPG or their iGPU inside these new CPUs gonna have much better graphical performance. It is gonna be very similar to AMD's offering which can lead to better competition in the handheld market if Intel priced it very competitively for manufacturers. Some might use Intel's chips rather than AMD's which can lead to better competition and lower priced handheld gaming console. AMD, they are also planning to launch launch their 7000 series Threadripper Pro CPUs. According to some leak slides, these Threadripper CPUs can come as soon as September 22nd and we will see a 96 core, a 64 core, 32 cores and a 16 core Threadripper CPUs and the 96 core would have 75% more render per day compared to its competition Intel's Xeon. And because these new Threadripper chips are based on a Zen 4 architecture, it will have PCIe support and DDR5 support. And while we're talking about AMD, they might have silently dropped the support for their 50, 500 and 400 series GPUs. Now, love it or hate it, the 580 is still a very good GPU. It can still play modern games at a pretty digestible <laughs> frame rate. Like it's not very good, but it's not that bad that you need to throw your computer out the window. And with the new Life of Pi driver update, they haven't said anything or the driver doesn't have anything about the 580 series or the whole 500 series. I used to have a 540. I still might have it somewhere. If you guys wanna see how a 540 performs in nowadays, 
let me know it, it it might make a very interesting video the iphone 14 series are not really repairable friendly phones if you crack your back glass you have to pay almost the half of the phone's price to fix it new iphone 15 series are not like that you can easily access the back glass and also the front glass and the new repair cost is much lower it's now 169 dollars which is still expensive because you are paying the Apple tax, but this time you're paying the less or a little less Apple tax. But on the other hand, Google just forgot that they also need to repair their products because according to Google, they can't fix the Pixel Watch. They, If you break your Pixel Watch's glass, the front glass, Google don't have spare parts to fix them. So if you have a Pixel Watch and you somehow broke it, it just becomes e-waste and that's a big problem. Next generation Switch or the Switch 2 might have the same performance as a PS4 or Xbox. They are getting their CPU or the SoC from Nvidia and it's going to be based on Ampere architecture. That means it's going to be based on the 30 series architecture. It's going to have the DLSS support and ray tracing support. Ubisoft also released their PC specs for their upcoming Assassin Creed Mirage. It's gonna support Intel Arc GPUs from day one. So no Starfield situation. It's gonna support XESS. And not only that, the specs looks pretty awesome. If you have a RX 570, you can still play this game on 1080p 30 FPS. If you want to play 1080p 60, you need 1660 Ti. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the minimum specs and the recommended specs and at the high end it doesn't need that much like if you want to play 4k a 3080 will be totally suffice and honestly this this genuinely looks good but there is one asterisk we don't know that these configuration are with any upscaling technology or not if it is with an upscaling technology let's say uh, the XESS from Intel well, my thoughts might change and this might be a very misleading marketing, at least in my eyes. And in my eyes, this episode is ending. So yeah, this is it for this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you haven't, well, you can hit the dislike. Feel free to do it. And if you want to watch more videos from us, check out this video right here. And don't forget to subscribe right here. And there's Akash. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.